Welcome Shave fans. Today I'm trying another scent tester from K Shave Works. Um, this is a new scent that they are working on and uh, so far I'm really loving it. Uh, it's called Major Wood and uh, um, just in case anybody's wondering before I release any of these videos where I talk about their you know classified and, and, and their uh, upcoming scents I send them off to uh, Kelly and Kevin to get their approval before uh, releasing the video. So uh, just in case anybody was wondering, they have approved every video of an unreleased scent before I release, you know, let it out in the public, just in case they want to keep something, uh, you know, secret or that they know that they've got some changes coming up. So, uh, you know, normally I go ahead and pre-lather up a, a brush but uh, one of the things that they are trying out are these new um, two ounce size soaps so they wanted to get our opinion and see what we thought about being able to lather out of this little tub so two ounces with some room to lather in it so i'll be using my my uh, john's brushes barber pole beautiful beautiful brush 24 millimeter knot, so pretty standard these days. And uh, I'll go ahead and lather it up. Mm. So while I'm doing that, let me get to where I can see this lid here. This major wood has. Uh, three major wood scent components and uh, I don't have the sheet right in front of me but there's cedar and teak if I remember right and a third one that I can't for the life of me at this moment remember all right I've got a nice a nice uh, bit of soap in that brush so I'm going to go ahead and wet my face and I'll just do a face lather today. Oh, the scent on this is awesome! Oh, oh yeah. Now admittedly I am a woodworker and so just sniffing trees is, is something i enjoy but mm, it's got this you know kind of spiciness to it from the uh, the cedar and the, the teak and oh just it's this nice woody kind of exotic wood smell but it's all wood oh that's so good And you just gotta love how their soap lathers. It's just a wonderful soap. All right. For my razor today, it's been a little while since I shaved. This is the DeFitch DF91, or uh, as a lot of us uh, end up calling it, the DeFitch 2.0. So this is the, uh, the second release from DeFitch. Uh, and this one, um, if, just in case somebody hasn't seen it, I, I've tried several of these. Uh, friends uh, ordered them at the same time, and so I got to compare three of them side by side, and all three of them were perfect. And this razor is a little more aggressive than the, you know, like DE89, so, or even, um, you know, most of the fare that's out there. So just a step above. It's a good five, I would say between one and ten all right mm. for my blade today i'm using the supermax titanium again this will be my third shave with it a 
have to remember that this razor is more aggressive than the ones I normally use. Treat it with the according respect. razor just has a really good heft to it you know it's just everything about it is beautiful all the knurling is beautiful and clean easy to grab it's got yeah just a good weight good feel good balance that extra bit of aggressiveness in the head I think is a very nice change this is a very good choice for somebody who wants to step it up a bit without going overboard and they're very affordable I haven't checked just recently but Good feel on that first pass. I'm really liking this Supermax Titanium Blade. Blow it up here for a second pass. And I'll see you on the other side. All right, I stand by my original assessment of the uh, DeFitch DF91. Just a great razor. You know, definitely it's a little more aggressive than uh, what I normally kind of consider comfortable for me. But personally, I like to take it, uh, you know, outside the envelope occasionally. So, you know, I've got a couple little weepers there where I got a little close, but... Oh, just a great fit finish. Everything fits together nicely. There's no trouble lining up the blade. Just everything that you can imagine. And uh, I think that these were running like $16, $17 on the, uh, Amazon. Although I haven't checked it uh, recently. So there may be a couple dollars more. But man, good stuff. Uh, if you're looking for a step up, that is a great option and really affordable and it's just beautiful just flawless nothing wrong with the with any of the finishing there's none of that you know flashing or irregularities that you see in, in normally in cheap razors just a great really love that quality all right this major wood it's a scent that is just completely different than any of the other scents I've ever tried. Uh, when I first saw what was going to be in it, I thought it might be uh, similar to Dr. John's Hex, which has a lot of cedar in it. Um, but this just steps that wood up a whole nother level. Um, one thing that uh, I really like about K-Shade Works is that their scent strength is always really high. So, mm, just really a great scent. Of course, I am a woodworker. I may be a little bit biased, but 
Oh yeah. If you're looking for a new scent that's just different than anything else, great woody scent. Okay, can't wait. I'll get myself a big tub of that. Ooh, maybe they'll come out with an aftershave for it too. Well, they, speaking of which, they don't have an aftershave for it yet. We'll see if they come out with one. So I am going to use some uh, Bay Rum. And this is uh, specifically Bay Rum from Diamond Bar Shaving. And I took it out of the, uh, some of it out of the metal flask that it comes in and put it in a spritz bottle so that it's easier to uh, apply. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like a good bit of rum. Mm. That is some good stuff. All right, folks, I just had a great shave, two passes, and I'm BBS. Have a good night.